Good Friday morning, everyone. Hope everybody's having a, a great week. Hey, I just want to do this little intro on the front of today's newsletter. Um, today's newsletter is, I actually, we normally film on the same day that we post, but this one is a little bit different because I was, I went to Tucson on Wednesday, today's Friday morning. I went to Tucson on Wednesday and I met up with uh, one of my buddies down there. And so this, today's newsletter will be another uh, interview. We got such great response off the interview. I thought, well, I'm going to take advantage of it while I can with a, a friend of mine named Daryl uh, that's down in the Phoenix area. Just uh, and He's a snowbird. He's only here for a short time. So I really wanted to take advantage of that. I'm just going to go ahead and, and get it posted on there. So again, thank you. Uh, thank you, Daryl and the gang down there for being so hospitable. It was fun. Um, so anyway, this is an intro to that. The other thing is that um, I, I know we've got a lot of new subscribers, new watchers from that whole Gary V thing, and I just want to welcome you guys. Uh, my email is here. Is there anything I can answer for you, anything we can do for you, just let us know. And we really appreciate all the great support from you guys that have been with us for so long of, of uh, backing down to uh, videos three times a week rather than six. So uh, thanks again to everybody, and uh, I hope you gonna like this uh, interview that I did with Daryl because it was a lot of fun. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on uh, Monday morning for Coffee and Questions. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye-bye. Hey guys, it is uh, newsletter time, Friday newsletter. This is my buddy Daryl Brenneman from Iowa. We are in Apache Junction, Arizona. This is where he and his wife and his sister, is where they kind of congregate in the uh, in the winter time, snowbird style, snowbird I guess. Snowbird style, yeah. And uh, I wanted to come down here. I was on my way to Tucson, and we kind of set this up ahead of time. And I wanted to introduce you guys to him, and we do a kind of an interview, kind of like what we did last week with Skip, kind of get his story, how he came about, and show his really cool operation. I am envious of his operation here. It's so cool. So we'll get into that after we kind of do a little interview kind of thing. So, Daryl, yeah. tell me how this all came about. How'd you end up? Well, doing I, this stuff. I was over at my sister's house and uh, I decided to get on the computer and look up uh, routing signs. Mm -hmm. Then I found your uh, so, website, YouTube. Did you, have a, did you have a history of routing signs before? What made you look for routing uh, signs just because there's a lot of people have them? I had no history of it. Okay. But I've done some for a golf course one time. Uh, oh, okay. But uh, I just uh, thought. No, it just come to me. I'll look up something, see what I can find, and then I ended up finding you. Really? Yeah. So. And so, and then, and then what? Then you just started watching some started of the videos. Started watching the videos. Okay. And uh, all the carving and all some of them instruction videos. Right. And then found out you're in Oakland, Arizona. And then, that's right. I'd forgotten about that. Yeah. So Shirley says, "Let's go to Oakland tomorrow." So we took off and went up to Oakland, and that's how we. End up meeting you, and I was the, I was carving an open at the time, right? Uh, oh. No, you weren't. You were bringing signs in because you were only showing up there about 20 minutes a week. Okay, 20 minutes a week. Yeah, bringing signs over is what you told me. Okay. Anyway, so but I did. I have my operation set up there to carve signs mm -hmm. in open. Yeah, yeah. So did. I did have my shop there, yeah. but I wasn't necessarily carving that particular thing. I think you had your shop there quite a while ago. Yeah. yeah, I was thinking that, yeah, I was thinking I did, yeah, okay, and so um, from that, I know at some point you came over to the shop, but that was a uh, different time, right? Yeah. Because I remember you bringing, you coming on the bike, coming, yes. coming over to the yeah. house. Oh, over yeah. to your house, yeah. Right, but that was what, that was later that on, That was about right? three years ago. Okay, yeah. so that was after the beginning then. Right. So how, how I, long ago was it that you first met me up in Open then? That was probably... Five years ago. Five years ago. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Man, time flies. So okay. So then what? You, you you came up. You met me. You saw my operation. You were watching our videos, and then you just uh, at I that took, point I took you... off from there. Started. Oh, okay. I made my router with the handles on it and all that, right. like you guys do. Right. And uh, I started making signs. Oh. And were you you were still here at the time then? Before you here. headed back to Iowa? Yeah, here. Okay. Yeah, I was here. So so you just kind of started putting things together, and I know you didn't have this set up, obviously. No. You were just outside. Even a couple years ago, yeah. you you were just carving on a bench outside yeah, that was your trailer. Three years right? ago, you came yeah. down and seen that. So. Right, right. Um, and uh, 
then one thing led to another, and I bought more stuff from me. I bought tooling, bought letters, right. and sent you back some to get sharpened. Right. Not that I tried sharpening myself. <laughs> yeah, it, it kind of it gets kind of tricky. Yeah, yeah, it does. So. Yeah, you can ruin a lot of uh, carbide real quick. Yeah. Um, so then when you left here, that year when you left here, you started making signs while you were here during that right. summer yeah. or that uh, winter, I guess. That yeah. winter, yeah. That winter. Then when you went back to Iowa. I made you, some back there, you, too. You continued to start to make yeah. signs when you were back there, right? Yeah. So you've been doing it. So you're oh, four or five years. Four or five years, yeah. pretty much ongoing. Off and on. Off yeah. and on. Right, right. And you're re what's your original? You retired from John Deere factory. John Deere. Had factory. forty-one years there. Really. So, so uh, then, and you, how long have you guys, you and your wife, been coming down to Arizona? This is our is that third a year. Shot? No, oh. we're just. <laughs> Working okay. on a building over there. All right. You good. don't edit anything. <laughs> gonna, oh, yeah, you're right. We just keep rolling. <laughs> so no, I was 41 years at Deers. Yeah. And then after that, my wife died, and then mm -hmm. and so on. And then I met Carmen five years later. I gotcha. And, uh, and then it, were you? And then so how many years have you been doing the snowbird thing? Oh, seven years probably. Really? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And this is probably the best spot I've ever found. This one right here. I, I so. can't imagine one being much better. Mm -hmm. You got the afternoon shade rather than being over yeah. there and, and the yeah. afternoon sun. So yeah. So no, then I come out here. And I come out set. here in the morning and start making sawdust. Do you? So. Yeah, on pretty much on a regular. You know, like off and on. Off and on. Yeah. 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 So now that you have this set up here, do people kind of know uh, people in oh, the park? Yeah. No, and then it they know I make get, signs. They it kind of gets around. Yeah. And everybody. Mm -hmm. When they need a sign, they know where you're at. They know where I'm at, yeah. That's so cool. That's so cool. Then I went to a swap meet, mm -hmm. and first day at the swap meet, I think I got probably three hundred fifty dollars worth of orders. Really? Yeah. Was that was out here? That was out here. That was yeah. out here. So you went mobile. Yeah. yeah. But you did. Now, did you carve on site at the swap meet, or I you did just some went... carving? Uh huh. Just for uh, amusement, to, so them to. To watch. Yeah, and see the router, see hear the I router do, running but, and all that. But I no, talk about. I, I'd rather take orders and then carve them sure. later. That's it. Yeah. I guess so if you got this set up. But so, they knew that you were local, so. Oh, yeah. So yeah. you did like 350 in a day. Oh, yeah, about seven orders wow. all in one day. That's <laughs> not bad. No, that's pretty good. Yeah. Not bad. That helps, uh, helps keep the wife happy. Yeah. That's good. That's good. The wife's happy, everybody's happy. That's right, right. And I noticed you. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the camera and go inside the the shop here, guys. You guys got to see this setup. This is so, man, what a cool setup. Mm. I'm really envious. So we're gonna go ahead and shut the camera down, and then I'm gonna come. Okay, so um, our camera lady actually hit the button a little premature, but uh, you guys got the idea. So I want to I want to go over some of this stuff that Daryl does. I just man, he's just doing some awesome stuff. So these are samples that he's got out. He's got a little A-frame, a couple little A-frames, and look, he's got a little poster board there with stuff, and, and uh, it's got some, some contact information on it down there. Um, and uh, you can see over to the left, he's uh, drying some cedar boards out. Uh, I've seen a setup like that somewhere. I can't remember, but somewhere I've seen a setup like that. But anyway, these these signs where he put the color on them uh, on the artwork and stuff. And you're doing that. You're just doing that with uh, colored pens. Is yes. that how you're doing it, yeah. Daryl? Yeah. Really cool. Very nice. Do you find that that helps when people are picking out stuff? That does that seem oh. to help them? Uh, uh, like, do they add that kind of stuff on a regular basis? Well, they ask me about it, and then I put them on, but they don't really ask for different colors or anything. Right. I just throw in the colors that I like. Now, do you, if, if let's say, the, for instance, they wanted that, uh, that crappie there, if they wanted that on their sign, you charge extra for that? Sure. Yeah. Okay, it, good. What do extra. you charge? Oh, probably another $15. $15? Yeah. And you even paint it up like that yeah. and everything? Yeah. Yeah, you're you 
better man than me, I don't do that stuff. But anyway, you don't do that stuff. Uh, well, I'll, I'll do just about any yeah. artwork, but from as far as a color standpoint, yep. although you know, I did when I was up in Oatman, yep. if I could get it done with the little sharpies and the mm -hmm. pens and that stuff, yep. and the thing that the way the paint pens are now, mm -hmm. uh, it really makes it kind of easy, but really nice. What's your finish on there? It's a polyurethane. Uh, polyurethane min Is wax. it the Minwax uh, yeah. Helmsman? Yeah, I yeah. see it in there on the shelf. So here's another little A-frame that he's got uh, got out here. Um, super dad, I like that. Really nice stuff, man. Really nice stuff. And I'm gonna back off here a little bit. So he created kind of his own little version of the the ribbon. Uh, that goes underneath a live to ride yeah. um, and it, it's uh, well tell me about that Daryl well when I you know, when I cut this out yeah that's where I got this curve and I thought I'll do that right here and then I got my board yeah that's really cool I really like that so that's basically the cutoff off the bottom of the yeah. live to ride sign mm. yeah. yeah I hit the record button now I messed it up I, had to, I, I think I stopped, but we're recording now. Let me see here. Yeah, I'm sure we're recording now. Yes, we are. All right. So sorry about that, guys. That'll be a third scene. <laughs> Obviously, I'm a better sign maker than I am a filmer. Oh, this little, I want to show this bear. Bear is so cool. Really neat. I love the silhouette stuff like that. Just mm -hmm. comes out so neat. I might cool. put some Indian feathers down in here too. So. Oh, you did? No, I might. Oh, you might. Carve, I was thinking they're invisible. Feathers. I don't see them. Yeah. But okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. All right, so yeah. the, uh, backing off, I want to show this whole little building he's got here. Hopefully, I won't fall backwards. Really neat. So he just uh, this is one of the little pre-made wood sheds. That's his uh, his trailer. So this is right where he lives. That's right where they live. Um, how long are you guys you guys here? Like four months? November to April. November to April, right? Okay, so um, let's walk inside and get a get a look. Oh, I can see the screen much better in here, in the shade. So this is uh, inside his little building. He's got his storage and stuff up there. Really cool. This is where you do all your routing and sanding and everything right That's there, right? Do everything yeah. right there, yeah. Yeah, very cool. Got a little DWP. Got his... Uh, you have to have a moisture meter. Yeah, yeah. Moisture meter makes a huge difference. Where is your moisture meter? It's right there, over there. Oh, there it is. That's a little bit different than the... That's a better one than the one we have. That's good. A digital readout, I like that. So here's... Uh, Pictures, uh, kind of his portfolio, pictures of some stuff that he's done to show uh, to show customers. Like I tell you guys all the time, take pictures of everything. Here's that one's really cool. I remember you sending me a yeah, picture of that. Yeah. That one's really neat, really neat. Do you have that one that you sent me a picture of the other day that was the, uh, what was it, a buzzard or something? It was a, oh. it was a shape like that. But it was a uh, uh, it was for a bar back somewhere, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, up in Washington. I yeah. don't know if I got that. Yeah, I, I think I think I've got it actually. Uh, I'm going to feature it as sign carver of the day at some point. I think it's in my stack. That was my favorite one. Yeah. That one really turned out really really cool. I'll show that one in the future, guys. Wow, look at that. That one oh, really came one. out nice. That one's pretty good size. That's really cool. That yeah, was Bell Plain, Minnesota. That's the name of the town, Bell Plain, Minnesota, yep. CW Ranch. Very nice. Oh, there's the, the making of it, huh? Yep, there's yeah. the making of it. Right. But I don't have that. That one, that it had one. a buzzard and a Yosemite Sam on yeah, it. it That's what it was. It was a, a Yosemite Sam. Anyway, I'll show that on an upcoming episode. So let's uh, kind of move around. So, um, so this, so the... Making the signs and stuff, now it, it appears that people kind of know where you're at and they, yeah. they come to you a lot of the mm -hmm. times, huh? Yep. That's really neat. And that, I guess that kind of helps uh, supplement you guys, your retirement. A little, little, and, little fun income. Yeah, right. Yep, so anyway. Very nice. Here's some patterns that I, 
I go by too. Oh, little Camaro right there. Yep. That's a Camaro. I recognize yep. it. There's, there's that, that bear. There's that bear. Now I got little hummingbird. Hummingbirds. Yep. Yep. So you give people, you show people if they've got an idea of something yeah. they want, then you've got some that you can show them. Show them some of this cores. Right, right. And then how do you, you uh, just carbon paper those on the board? Yeah. Most of the time? Yeah. Yeah. And what's your, uh, what's your normal turnaround when they, when somebody orders one? You know, a uh, uh, few days or? Three or four days. Three or four days? Yeah. Always got sign orders ahead of them. Right, right. And so. That's yep. really neat. Cool stuff, my friend. There's one of my favorite ones. That's a, that one really came out nice. That yeah. one, the light is on it. Now, can you see it okay? Yeah, I can see it good. Yeah. That's a shingle that hangs outside of a tavern back home. Oh, in Iowa? Yeah. That's oh. Probably three foot by two and a half. Oh, really? You can't even tell it's that big from the yeah. picture. But it's about three inches thick, and it's carved on both sides. So how do you get three inches thick? That looks like the panel board. Is that the panel board from yeah. uh, like Lowe's? Yeah. And then you put a, a, a thick backer on the thick back? Thick backer on the back and then I put another panel board on the other side. Oh, is it two-sided? It's two-sided. Oh, it's carved on both yep. sides. Well, then that makes sense. Yeah. So. Very cool. Very <clears throat> nice. You have your, your, your name on it anywhere? Oh, yeah. Yep. On that sign, uh, when you do big ones like that, you normally put your, yeah, put your stamp my, on it? Yeah, or, I got to little foil or something uh, calling card I'll, I'll glue it on the back there you go okay yeah all right well guys you kind of get an idea i'm going to walk back outside and get another another view so you can see this is just a you know this is a a trailer park uh down here in a junction where the snowbirds kind of i guess it's pretty much deserted in the in the summertime yeah everybody that don't like the heat goes back home so um anyway might give you guys some ideas of how to set up a, a little shop um but man really got a smooth operation there my friend then i got a shop back home it's uh it's a basement garage a basement garage. there's a garage up above uh -huh. and then there's a garage down below i, I got the garage down below so. really and that's all your shop that's all my shop yeah the wife lets you have it oh huh? yeah oh. two and a half cars garage that's cool very cool all right you guys well um i think we're gonna wrap this up uh daryl I, I get over there in front of your no shop let me get you on film so uh if you guys have any questions um and i know when we did the interview with skip uh, the other day there was a lot of comments and and uh people had questions if you have any questions for daryl um keep them to yourself because he's not interested no i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm just kidding you <laughs> make a comment in the in the um uh, below the video and uh and uh daryl will go on or i'll go on i'll find the answer but anyway if you have any questions or comments you can uh uh put the put them in the below the video i'm getting all tongue-tied here uh put them below the video and uh and daryl will go on because you go on youtube quite often right daryl every day yeah there's a show that you watch on there all the yeah. time. Yeah, I, I thought so. Anyway, good job. <laughs> all right, you guys. I hope everybody, uh, I hope you guys got some uh, value out of this because I, I love to do this. Um, just show what people are doing. Uh, Daryl's just, uh, you know, I'm really proud of him. He's doing an awesome job. Um, well, if one for you, I wouldn't be here today. Well, like this. I, I appreciate that. That is... Uh, uh, that really warms my heart, man. I really appreciate that. I'm glad I was able to help. Uh, if Dad hadn't taught me, I wouldn't be here. So, you know, it all kind of runs downhill. But yeah. um, anyway, guys, hope you guys have a great uh, Friday night. And uh, we will see you on Coffee and Questions on Monday morning. See you later. Say bye, Daryl. See you later. Bye. Bye.